It's almost that time the great American solar eclipse will start in less than two hours. And while we won't get the total eclipse here in Florida, many are still planning to go out and watch this rare event unfold. 10 Tampa Bay reporter Andrea Lyon is live at St. Petersburg College for us with a watch party at St. Pete College. And Andrea, a lot of excitement here, but especially in the astronomy department. You, I don't hear anything. Oh, we're, we're live. That's live TV. <laughs> That's live TV for you. I don't hear anything on my end, but everything is going on without a hitch here at St. Pete College. It's nice outside, and this is only one of many places where there will be uh, watch parties to experience this total solar eclipse partial eclipse from here in Florida. Uh, St. Pete College will be handing out about 900 of these and they're expected to go quickly. Live here with me now is Dr. Craig Joseph. You teach astronomy here at the college and tell me a little bit about your setup. You have some uh, magnificent equipment here. Uh, we have uh, four telescopes set up for visual viewing where you can just look right through the telescope and they're safely equipped for solar viewing so it's perfectly safe to do that. And we have uh, one telescope fitted with uh, a very special telescope that's designed for solar activity that'll show you uh, features on the sun, not just sunspots, but also filaments and prominences, all sorts of interesting things. And that'll be shown on the TV monitor we have over here. And you were saying when we were talking earlier, this one is expected to be a, a better, bigger show than the 2017 eclipse. Why is that? Oh, there's two reasons actually. First of all, the moon is closer to us for this eclipse. And because it's closer, the shadow is wider and the eclipse will last longer, almost four minutes for this total eclipse uh, for parts of the country. But also we're near the peak of solar activity where the, the sun's atmosphere that you can see during an eclipse, the corona, has all sorts of interesting streamers and filaments coming out. So it'll be a much more interesting sight than the one in 2017. And you're expecting a lot of people to turn out, right? I don't know. <laughs> well, I really don't know how many people will show up. But again, we have 900 uh, Eclipse viewers to pass out, so we can handle at least that many, hopefully. All right. Thank you so much. So, yes, come grab them. It's free to anyone to come out and check this out, experience this rare event. It starts in our area a little after 1.40 p.m. with that peak coming around 2.55. So, again, look up in the sky, check it out, but be safe and use one of these guys. Live in St. Pete, Andrea Lyon, 10 Tampa Bay.